For six years, Chrissy Kohler was a weekend morning meteorologist and traffic reporter at News 2. In this edition of Quintin's Close-Ups, I sit down one-on-one -on -one with her to talk about her future. And be sure to download the free Quintin's Close-Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. And listen to this interview later on iHeartRadio. Chrissy Kohler! Hey! <laughs> Doing great with yourself. Good to see you. Well, as always. As always. Uh, I think the last time I saw you was when I was walking down King Street <laughs> and then you covered the work related story. I don't know if it was something with the winter. It, it was a, yeah. The snowstorm of last year, maybe. I, I was going to say, you and I always seem to cross paths yes. and we're always, you know, heading one way or another. Always, I know you're always busy, yes, so, <laughs> but it's always good to see you. Likewise. I brought you to the table today because obviously you just left Channel Two after being there for six years. Six years, yeah. Um, it was a it was a lot of fun to be there for the last six years. Wow. What is the biggest difference between six years ago and now when you think of Channel Two and Chrissy Colbert? Oh gosh. Um, wow. A lot has changed in six years. I mean, you know, I, you know, I don't know how many people realize this, but I actually my position at at Channel 2 was created for that weekend morning show. So I've been with it since the beginning yeah. uh, when it launched in 2012. Uh, there was a couple months in the beginning where Kyle and Josh kind of filled in a little bit. Yeah. But once I got there, um, that's been my show since the beginning. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've been through four anchors. Right. I mean, I don't even know how many directors <laughs> had on that show. Um, there's been a lot of turnover over the years. So, yeah. um, but. Personally, I just feel like I've grown so much in these last six years. I have uh, become, I think, I'm, I'm a different person than I was when I started six years ago, it, but in a really good way, you know, grown a lot as a person. And, you know, we were just talking about this, but just on July 15th, 2013, we did our first interview together for Quentin's Full Subs. Yeah. And I remember the last interview that I asked you about your future. You said, hey, listen, I love what I do right now. But you don't want to be working Saturdays and Sundays forever. I don't want to be working Saturdays and Sundays forever, yeah. And so that that's that really factored into this uh, decision. So, um, you know, I'm staring down the first weekend in, to be honest with you, it's been six years, but of my 11 years in TV, only one of those years did I not work weekends. So 10 years right. of the last 11 that I've worked Saturdays and Sunday mornings. And if I wanted to have a Saturday or Sunday <laughs> off, I had to take a vacation day, you know. Oh, so, um, okay. so yeah, it'll be nice to to go to brunch on Sunday. Go to go to early church yes. on Sunday. <laughs> Bye, church. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Instead of you know rushing out of church or rushing out of work and trying to make it to church, church. on time, I get to get up and get dressed like everybody else does. Go to church. We're going to brunch. Yeah. We've got brunch plans and. Uh, yeah, it'll be nice. nice. It'll be nice. Nice. Yeah. And over the past six years that you've been at Channel 2, obviously the weather has been on the road. <laughs> Gosh. What haven't I covered in the last six years? Yeah. Uh, that's really an um, earthquake. In, well, not a major earthquake. Certainly we've had some small tremors. Uh, but tsunami is probably the one thing right. I haven't covered. Right. Uh, you know, we had the, the flooding right. in 2015. Right. We had uh, Matthew right. in 2016. We had... Uh, Gosh, I mean, how many hurricanes after that, after Matthew? Matthew's the big one that always pops out in my mind that we've covered. Um, but, of course, we got Irma. We, oh, had, yeah. we had some effects from that. And then the snowstorm. Right. <laughs> oh, it's just, uh, so fun. Uh -huh. And, you know, when you look back at it, and it, was it twenty was it 2013 or 2014 that we had... Um, a couple of days of right. snow, but they were they were pretty mild right. compared to what we saw so, earlier in uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. And you talk about 2018, the hurricane season just wrapped up. It did. If it you did. had the weather map behind you, what particular storm would you point to and say, hey, that was one of the worst ever? Oh, gosh, Michael. I mean, Michael was just such an incredible storm, and obviously we saw some of that, obviously not to the scale uh, that you saw, but it's... It's actually the last several years have been so interesting with um, just how many big and powerful storms we've had kind of roll through. Of course, Michael's the big one from this year, um, where just, you know, the rapid intensification as it moved across the Gulf and then as it hit the coast of Florida. Um, and then, you know, Quentin, this past September, um, I had the opportunity to go on vacation to the Virgin Islands. Yeah. And just seeing their recovery process from Irma and Maria from the year before, it's just incredible, these places that just get devastated. But, you know, it's always so inspiring to see is how they always bounce back. 
those people and just have resilient spirits and people find a way to bounce back. That's right. And, you know, I was just talking to you about my brother. He goes to Coastal Carolina up in Albury County. Yeah. And they were out of school for months. And obviously those people there are still recovering, too. Oh, absolutely. Florence was such a... And I think we kind of... Michael was so powerful. Yeah. Florence did so much damage, especially on the rain side of things. Right. All of that rain that right. it brought in. Um, and, and, of course, you know, North Carolina. I was actually in Wilmington not too long before right. um, Florence hit. So... I, I've not been since, um, so I don't know what everything looks like, but I'm grateful that I had the chance to go before um, so that, you know, now going afterwards, I can kind of say, okay, yeah, but I, I see the difference now because, you know, absolutely, there's 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 a lot of devastation. Uh, the East Coast and the Gulf Coast really have been hit pretty hard the last couple of years. And when you look into your crystal ball, what do you see next for the weather? especially on the southeast coast. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it, it, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. You know, in, in meteorology, uh, specifically meteorology, we're kind of the those guys who study what's what's, what's close, what's, yeah. what's soon to happen. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people like to ask us about the climate and, mm -hmm. and those types of things. And, and while we've certainly taken classes on those, right. that's like a whole other area of weather that you're talking about, the climate um, scientists that are studying these long-range forecasts. So, you know, I, I, I certainly have thoughts and things on that, but I'm, I'm not an expert okay. in, those, in those areas. So a lot of times, you know, keep, let the experts talk yeah. about that. <laughs> you know, if you want to know what the forecast is for the next 10 days, I got you covered. <laughs> so I was just thinking about that. I mean, when you look at the 10 days from there to now, from, from there to now, well, from now to there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What do you see? <laughs> well, it's going to rain on Friday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, we're kind of in that setup where this, the temperatures are all over the place. I don't know that we're going to have much of a just kind of an even keeledness over the next couple weeks. I think, honestly, and we're going to keep seeing these systems, these storm systems yeah. come through. Uh, so it's going to be kind of wet and and. A little on the chilly side leading up to Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. And obviously for those people who didn't get a chance to see you for the last time on Sunday, what do you want to say to them right now? Gosh, I'm just so grateful um, to everyone who has tuned in over these last six years and have been supportive over these last six years. Um, you know, i got to say, Quentin, um, one of the comments that uh, I had a gentleman stop me in the grocery store one day, this was several years ago, okay. and, um, you know, he, he said to me, oh. Um, my, my wife and I were talking about you just uh, the other day, and my wife turned to me and said, wouldn't it be great if our daughter grew up to be like Chris Taylor? And that is one of those things that I will always hold in my heart and treasure in my heart, that I was able to be an influence on young girls and young kids in general, you know, but especially young girls, um, that, they, that I was somebody that they could look up to. That's such a special thing. Um, you know, that I'm just honored to have been a part of people's families yes. and, and even so much more yeah. um, than that. So it's just been, it's been a blessing for me. Blessing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So I got to ask you a big question. <laughs> How would you forecast your future? Well, um, I am going back to Ohio to see my parents okay. for the first time yeah. in 11 years. Um, my dad is a Lutheran pastor, ah. so he always has to work on Christmas yes. as well. And uh, we are fortunate enough, too, that my sister, who's a nurse, also has a uh, vacation for Christmas this year. Yeah. So the first time in 11 years, all four of the family members, my husband chimed along as well. Cool. But we'll all be together for the first time. So first time. That's, that's the big thing. Um, I have a two-week uh, mission trip to Puerto Rico planned, where I'm going to help and from the cleanup from uh, yeah, Hurricane Maria, right. still help go um, rebuild houses because yeah. they're still very much in that rebuilding process down there in Puerto Rico. And then, you know, if nothing else comes my way, I'm going to work for my husband. So, oh, okay. Yeah. He works, uh, he owns Bristol Decker right. Law, and he is uh, in need of, he says he's in need of somebody to nag him at work. <laughs> and since I'm really good at nagging him at home, <laughs> I was a short <laughs> Let's repeat this. Exactly. Exactly. So, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Chrissy Kohler, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. Of course, Quentin. It was great talking to you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you.